Well, welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Well, this is a video that I didn't really want to make. I've been putting it off for over a week now. But you might remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on getting the pair of fish from Pier Aquatics, uh, the Uaru Ferdinand Lezepi. Now, the Uaru Ferdinand Lezepi, they are probably my favourite cichlid. Uh, I've kept them a couple of times over the years, uh, but I was fortunate to actually get this pair uh, a couple of weeks ago from from pier and um, when i put them in the tank they were quite skittish to start with um so i actually put a group of the buenos aires tetras in uh hoping that that will uh, help to get them out so what i've got in this tank there was half a dozen tetras and a pair of ferdinand lezepi so as you can see they were a beautiful pair um the markings on them was brilliant and um, they were a little bit thin but i wasn't too worried about that because i thought feed them up over the next couple of weeks and um, and they'll be fine but yet yeah, so i got them i was all excited about getting them and um, they must admit they weren't the cheapest pair of fish that i've ever got um, as you can imagine but yeah i was really pleased with them um, and was looking forward to having them as an addition um, to the fish room So yeah, as you can see, um, they seem to settle in quite well. They were skittish, as I've already said, um, so you'd have to creep up to the tank um, for them to come out so you could actually see them. But yeah, so th this video, um, th this is after they've been in the tank for, for only a couple of days. Now, what happened, unfortunately, because they were skittish, I didn't always notice, um, well, I didn't see them all the time, but yeah, I was in the fish room um, about a week after I'd got them and noticed the dreaded uh, white spot. It looks like they'd come down with ick. So the first thing I did is treated the tank, but yeah, a week later, you can see the, the state of them. Uh, so the mucus on the bodies didn't help, but yeah, unfortunately, I lost the pair of them. Um, so what I've done, I've actually emptied the tank out completely, so I'm going to leave it um, just empty for a week or so, um, just in case there is any anything still in the tank, so take it all down. But on the positive side, uh, the pollen I they've started laying eggs again, so as you can see here, um, there was quite a lot of eggs actually. Um, so yeah, the, you might remember I put the female back in with the male uh, probably about two or three weeks ago and they're getting on like a house on fire. So yeah, load of eggs. Um, second day went down, the eggs had moved um, and it took me ages spotting them because unfortunately they're the same colour as the sand. But yeah, they were still there. So this is day two. Um, yeah, on day three and day four, I was hoping to get videos of them every day, but yeah, there's no signs of the eggs anyway. But the parents, um, well, the, the, the pair, they're still getting along fine, which is a big improvement on, on the last time that they spawned when I had to actually separate them. Um, so yeah, th looking round. So I was just looking round really, uh, seeing what other fish I had and... Um, you know, just trying to, to appreciate what I already had and stop me thinking about the Uaru because I have been gutted, as you can imagine. So, yeah, the Thomas Sickler is fracky. Um, the pair of those, yeah, the, it's lip-locking again. So, it is interesting. They've, they've gone a paler colour. Uh, th this is what I believe is the pair. And you can see um, the, the odd one, it is a darker colour. So, it looks like th they are getting into, um, hopefully, starting to breed um so yeah it's lip locking and they were actually doing this for about 20 minutes <laughs> so yeah i was i was down in the fish room actually doing a uh, maintenance water changes but yeah every time i turned round, they were still at it so what's in this tank there's a uh, the, the six of the rainbow cichlids um and the the three is fracky and some congo tetras so the other thing to show you really uh the bean eye so I actually got another four of them, so there's eight in this tank now. Uh, just in case as they get bigger, like I have heard of people having problems with them uh, when they get to about three or four inches, them just starting to keel over. So I thought, make sure I've got a group of them because the chances of me getting these again are pretty remote. I mean, I've, I've waited 20 years for them. <laughs> um, so yeah, they, I've got a good group of these. Um, so yeah, hopefully grow these on and then uh, yeah, they do quite well with them. 
So yeah, they, they seem to have settled in. Um, they were in the tank with a load of carpenters. Uh, I managed to move, it was four of the, the carpenters on at the auction a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, th there is lots of room in this tank now. So there's one large carpenter left, um, a couple of the smaller ones, and it, it's the pair of Ferrichtes Passionis. And th there's a couple of Rogue Mineri in here as well. But yeah, the, the B&I, they, they've got loads of room. Uh, they seem to have taken to, to this side of the tank with the pebbles. So yeah, they seem quite a home there. Yeah, th so th they're about the same size of, as most of the carpenters. So hopefully I won't get any problems with them. And the other thing that I've managed to pick up is the a group of the Mesoheros uh, Festae. So there's a dozen of them in here. Um, they're only they're only small, they're about half an inch, three quarters of an inch in size. So yeah, I've, I've got these in the quarantine tank. So always remember to quarantine your new additions. <laughs> I'm glad I did it with the uh, with the Yoaru. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got these in in a small grow out tank. So leave these in here for a few weeks and they uh, just try and move some stuff around and um, and get these to grow on. So yeah, then. I've never actually kept the fest day before. I've always shied away from them. Um, yeah, it, 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 probably because of the reputation of being quite aggressive. But yeah, I, I thought I've got the B and I. I've, I've got the pollen I. Um, yeah, it's a, I tried the fest I. <laughs> so yeah, ho hopefully these will do quite well. So yeah, the, it's it's been a, a tough couple of weeks. The, the lows obviously losing the URU. The, the highs of actually getting them in the first place, um, the highs of the, the pollen eye actually starting to, to lay eggs again, uh, the lows of them not hatching, <laughs> um, the highs of actually uh, getting some more bean eye and getting the fest day. And yeah, did, so I thought we just finished today yeah, just looking at one of the tanks. So yeah, just sitting back and appreciating the, the collection that I have got. So anyway, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button, uh, press the like button, leave a comment, all that sort of thing, and I'll see you all on the next video.